Good evening. I would like to welcome parents, families, faculty, honored guests, and distinguished students to the 61st Annual Recognition Awards. I would like to recognize and thank our superintendent, Dr. Melissa Varley, and the Board of Education. We could not do any of this without their support. At this time, I'd like to introduce Matthew Chin, President of the Student Council Executive Board, who will lead us in the flag salute. Matthew. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This ceremony is a truly special occasion as we come together as a school community to take the time to recognize the amazing accomplishments of our students. These students have earned the right under some extraordinary circumstances to be recognized this evening by carrying on the proud tradition of excellence here at Governor Livingston High School. As we reflect upon their accomplishments in our district, I can say without a doubt that our students have repeatedly met and exceeded the high expectations that have been laid before them by their parents, our teachers, and this great school community. They have gone above and beyond in the classroom and in their service to others. They are to be commended for taking their natural abilities and making the most of this talent through hard work, perseverance, and commitment. It is this combination of talent and work ethic that will lead to their continued success beyond the hallways of Governor Livingston. We are gathered here tonight to applaud their great work. Tonight, our program will be divided into two parts. First, we will present community and outside scholarships, many presented by our generous sponsors. The rest will be presented by me. The second portion of our program will acknowledge all of the school awards. These will be presented together to each recipient, thus honoring all of their accomplishments here at Governor Livingston at one time. Presenting these awards will be Dr. Janosko, our Director of Guidance, and Mrs. Jackie Bartlett, our Assistant Principal. Thank you. Good evening, congratulations to the class of 2021. My name is Tracy Procassini and I represent the Hilltop Players Auxiliary. Each year, the Auxiliary awards the Dawn Chisuli and Kenneth Stiefel Memorial Theater Arts Scholarships to graduating seniors. Each scholarship is in the amount of $500. Dawn Chisuli was a Governor Livingston graduate and a founding member of the Hilltop Players Auxiliary. Her commitment to fundraising and providing practical assistance to GL Theater continues today through the work of the Auxiliary. Ken Stiefel, affectionately known as Daddy, was also a graduate of GL and served for 20 years as the technical director of the theater, which is now named in his honor. Each scholarship recipient is honored for their four years of outstanding commitment and contribution to GL Theater, on stage, behind the curtain, at the technical boards, or at the camera. This year, three students were chosen by the theater staff to receive these honors. I will be presenting the Dawn Chisuli Scholarship and Jeff Stiefel will be presenting the Kenneth Stiefel Scholarships. On behalf of the Governor Livingston Hilltop Players Auxiliary, I am pleased to present the Dawn Chisuli Memorial Theater Arts Scholarship to Rebecca Candeloro. Congratulations, Rebecca. It has been such a pleasure watching you on stage these past four years. Thank you for your hard work and dedication and good luck to you in the future. Good evening. Congratulations to the class of 2021. My name is Jeff Stiefel and on behalf of my family, it is my honor to present the 2021 honorees of the Kenneth Stiefel Scholarship. I am pleased to present the Kenneth Stiefel Scholarship to David Forrester and Victoria Mowry. Congratulations to you both. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication and I wish you luck in all your future endeavors. Good evening. I am Rosemary Sinisi from the Mountainside Rotary Club. I'm pleased to be here tonight representing the Rotary Club of Mountainside. Each year, the Mountainside Club presents scholarships to deserving graduates. This year, we are proud to be able to award two $1,000 scholarships. Before presenting the awards, I would like to congratulate all the graduates, their families, and their teachers. Along with a check for $1,000, is a scholarship that reads Scholastic Achievement Award in recognition of your devotion to attain a high scholastic level while participating in activities which develop a good citizenship. 
The Mountainside Rotary Club is proud to present these two awards to Holly Dorsett and Aiden Pine. Thank you. We're very proud of you. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for the opportunity to remember our daughter, Annie, and award a scholarship from the Annabelle Forever Young Foundation for the second year in a row. We love any opportunity to talk about Annie, but today we really want to honor and recognize the amazing students who submitted applications for our scholarship and shared their stories with us, whether they were recounting an aha moment or reflecting on the rewards of giving back, um, describing a triumph through adversity, or recalling a turning point of opportunity for them. The students who sent us their essays uh, all have one major thing in common, and that is promise. Um, I'd like to tell you about a few of the incredible thoughts that your students shared with us while considering their personal experiences and the spirit of our daughter, Annie. Uh, one applicant said, I was raised to believe that life can be tough, but how I deal with the challenges determines my character. And I've learned that with responsibility and mature decision-making comes respect. Another described volunteer work as a unique opportunity to bring joy to someone who's at the lowest point in their lives. Some of the other poignant things your students shared include things like, everybody's here for a reason and everybody has a purpose. Um, or today, I strive to always recognize and acknowledge the feelings of others and to create a more inclusive community at my school and in my town. And finally, someone said, I now have the gift of understanding that anyone can be a potential new friend. We could go on and on because these students demonstrated over and over again how they are rising to the occasion and reaching their full potential. Our selection committee had a difficult time choosing one person to award our scholarship because the applicants were all outstanding and deserving. However, it is my pleasure to announce the recipient of this year's Annabelle Forever Young Foundation scholarship of $5,000 is Thomas Pua. Congratulations to Thomas and all of the graduating seniors at GL. We are so inspired by all of you and wish you the best of luck with your bright futures. Thank you. Thanks everybody, bye. For 46 years, Carol Regal was the school psychologist here at Governor Livingston High School. She dedicated her life in support of the students and when necessary, in support of the faculty. Carol was a consummate professional who kept her door open for anyone who wanted or needed her guidance. Her immediate family and her GL family were her life. When not at GL, Carol could be found gardening, reading, or cooking. Carol valued the empowering role of education and to that end worked to help our students be successful in their educational choices. The Carol Regal Memorial Scholarship was organized by her friends and coworkers to celebrate her commitment to GL and to education. Two students were selected this year who both plan to study education and psychology in college. We are pleased to present Jessica Salamone and Melanie Zayas the 2021 Carol Regal Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Corinne Lavery. And I'm Sue Geraci, and we are co-presidents of the Mountainside Education Association. As educators, we know that our students will forget most of what we say, they'll forget most of what we did, but they will always remember how we made them feel. We are here tonight to tell you graduates that you have had the same effect on your teachers for the past 12 years. We remember details big and small, but we mostly remember the pride we felt watching you learn, grow, and become the amazing humans you are today. Each year, the Mountainside Education Association provides $1,000 scholarships for graduating seniors who have made their way through Deerfield and Beechwood schools, and they've left lasting impressions on our faculty and staff. These students have shown throughout their time in both Mountainside Schools and Governor Livingston High School outstanding scholarship, character, and community service. The MEA is excited and quite proud to present this year's awards to both Ryan Diskin and Abigail McLaughlin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm Bobby Peer, the owner and publisher of Tap Into Berkeley Heights. 
First, I want to thank the many students, parents, alumni, and Governor Livingston fans that keep Tap Into as your number one source to get your news. I want to congratulate each of the students for your accomplishments. We are in our third year of our partnership with the Highlander, Governor Livingston's school newspaper. Thanks to the continued dedication of journalism teacher Stacy Toporek and the Highlander student writers and editors, the Highlander continues to provide excellent journalism covering a complete spectrum of topics that include current national news, causes, trending topics, and how it impacts the students and staff at Governor Livingston High School. I am proud of each of the writers and their ability to take on assignments, gather data, and get the interviews to structure the articles. They blow me away day in and day out. I'm fortunate to work with many of them outside of Governor Livingston in my Tap Into Internship Program, which is available for students that want to further their journalism experience outside of the school. The pandemic has impacted how the Highlander covers sports and events due to the restrictions created by the rules of the school. However, we anticipate these restrictions lifting and in-person coverage will once again be a focus of the coverage partnership with Tap Into. I want to congratulate the students for being recognized by the Garden State Scholastic Press Association with several writers taking home top awards. This would not have been made possible without the support of the administration and the dedication of Stacy and the student writers that have showed interest in writing articles for the Highlander that were published in the Highlander section on Tap Into Berkeley Heights and Tap Into Mountainside. If you haven't checked out this section, please do so. These students have far exceeded my expectations of what a school newspaper can achieve. I am very fortunate to have the support of Governor Livingston and the interest of students in helping keep Tap Into as the source of news the community can rely on. This year's scholarship is going to the five seniors that have dedicated time as editors and writers and have once again raised the bar of professionalism of content provided in the Highlander. Tap Into Berkeley Heights and the Highlander sponsor, Sal and Tammy Pasalacqua of DeMeos, is proud to provide a $250 scholarship to Sarah Fajardo, Rebecca Mastropasqua, Mackenzie Pierce, Lily Collins, Julia Agenstein. Thank you and best of luck. I'm certain your futures will be bright. Good evening. My name is Daniel Guyton and I'm the head football coach here at Governor Livingston High School. It is an honor to be presenting the 6th Annual GL Football Carl D'Amelio Alumni Scholarship. I'm presenting this year on behalf of Adam Pearl, the head of our football alumni, and John Richel, a GL parent, football alum, and Carl's very close friend. Uh, the criteria for this $500 award is the senior who has played all four years and has the highest unweighted GPA. Uh, this year, there were eight seniors that met this criteria. This year, our scholarship goes to an amazingly accomplished student athlete. This year's recip recipient lettered in four varsity sports as a, as a senior. Uh, finding a silver lining, he played football, basketball, wrestling, and baseball, um, a feat I've never heard of and only possible because of, you know, the altered pandemic season schedules this year. Um, as a Highlander football player, he registered 36 touchdowns and over 3,000 yards of offense in his three years as our starting running back. Uh, he will be heading to TCNJ in the fall to continue his football career, majoring in engineering, uh, one of, if not the best leader I've ever coached. He led his team to a share of first place in our division. Uh, there's no better individual to represent our football program and to carry on Carl's legacy. Congratulations to Jason Schmidt, the 2021 Geo Football Carl D'Amelio Alumni Scholarship winner. Uh, Jay, we wish you all the best in the future. And we know that you'll make us proud. Uh, congrats. Good evening. I'm honored to be a part of this glorious night of recognition, even if my part has to be done remotely. My name is Liz Kane, and I'm the president of the Berkeley Heights Education Foundation. The Berkeley Heights Education Foundation is a nonprofit organization that raises funds to enhance the educational excellence in all six of the Berkeley Heights public schools. 
Since 1999, the Berkeley Heights Education Foundation has honored two GL high school seniors with monetary scholarships. Our organization is pleased to continue this scholarship program this year, with each of the two graduates receiving a $500 cash award. The recipients have been selected by the faculty based on the criteria established by the Ed Foundation. This year's recipients have been chosen and we are pleased to, pleased to announce that for academic achievement, Desmond Lamb, and for his community service, Matthew Chin. Congratulations to you both. Hi, I'm Julie Nelson and I'm the president of the Berkeley Heights PTO, which oversees and coordinates all six Berkeley Heights school PTOs. First, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the seniors and their families and wish you much luck and success in your future endeavors. Each year, the BHPTO awards two scholarships in the amount of $300 each to Governor Livingston seniors who exhibit good character and evidence of leadership throughout the year. The recipients are selected by the Governor Livingston Scholarship Committee, comprised of GL staff administration, and are chosen to receive these scholarships based on, the number of, on a number of criteria. Students are well-rounded and involved in a variety of activities, both in and outside of school. They must demonstrate positive attitude and extraordinary work ethic, and have contributed to promoting and enhancing the positive image of the Berkeley Heights Public Schools. BHPTO is very proud to honor these students. It is my pleasure to announce this year's BHPTO scholarship recipients for 2021, Sarah Fajardo and Richard Wetterer. Congratulations, and we wish you all the best. Hi, everyone. This year, the Berkeley Heights Volunteer Rescue Squad would like to congratulate Olivia Buchholz, uh, our recipient of the 2021 Berkeley Heights Volunteer Rescue Squad Cadet Award. Congratulations, Olivia. Good evening, my name is Al Fiella and I'm the president of the Ryan Fiella Foundation. Every year, we award scholarships to worthy Governor Livingston graduating seniors, and my wife Mary and I would like to congratulate all of you, the class of 2021. This year, we have three winners of a $1,000 scholarship each. They are Lily Collins, Ryan Diskin, and Emily Kiernan. Thank you very much, and good luck to all the graduates. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Lori Liming, and I am the founder of the Silver Liming Foundation. Our mission is to spread kindness one gesture at a time. For the second year in a row, we will be presenting a Governor Livingston Senior with our Making a Difference Scholarship. This year's recipient exudes kindness to everyone she meets. Her teachers nominated her not just for her actions, but also for the humble way she leads by example. It is our honor to announce Athena Nguyen as this year's Making a Difference Scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, Lois Jenner, my mom, was the lead media specialist or librarian at Governor Livingston High School for 16 years until she passed away from cancer in 1996. She absolutely loved the students at GL, especially those who made best use of the media center. To honor her memory, Lois's family established this award for the senior designated as the one who most enjoys reading and time in the school library. The winner of this year's Lois Jenner Scholarship not only spent a lot of quality time in the GL Media Center, but also held an after-school job and volunteered a lot of time with the American Cancer Society, two activities very important to my mom. Congratulations to Brianna Kagan. The family of Lois Jenner hopes you enjoy the $250 Amazon gift card to be used for anything related to reading. Brianna, best of luck in your future plans and may you always find time to read for pleasure. Good evening everyone. My name is Ramya Kasturi and I am a Princeton alum and I am here tonight to present the Princeton Book Award. Every year, the Princeton Book Award is presented to a junior who exhibits exceptional academic and extracurricular achievements. Tonight, the recipient of the award is at the top of his class academically, and he's also a very talented golfer. I've had the pleasure of actually getting to know him pretty well over the last couple of months. And what strikes me about him is 
actually his dedication to ensuring that the Berkeley Heights school system is an inclusive place for all students. So tonight, it's my absolute pleasure to present the Princeton Book Award to Tomas Burke. Tonight, I also have the pleasure of presenting a certificate of accomplishment for the Princeton Prize in Race Relations. The Princeton Prize in Race Relations recognizes and rewards high school students who, through their extracurricular activities, have made significant efforts in promoting racial equity. The recipient of this certificate of accomplishment has dedicated her high school career to promoting equity for all students. She has shown bravery in the most challenging and sometimes scary situations, and I know she will continue to advance the efforts for racial equity. So it is my absolute honor and pleasure to present this certificate of accomplishment for the Princeton Prize in Race Relations to Miss Naomi Brogdon. Good evening, everyone watching from home, and especially the class of 2021. It's been a heck of a year, and you've done so well to get this far. My name is Dr. Pat Smith. I'm the clinic director at Smith Chiropractic here in Berkeley Heights and the chair of the Smith Chiropractic Foundation. It's my honor to be here with you for the 11th consecutive year to present the Smith Chiropractic Foundation Community Leadership Award. Say that three times fast, that's a mouthful. That's crazy. That This scholarship was made possible with a generous grant from the Smith Chiropractic Foundation on behalf of all those who make the Berkeley Heights 5K Charity Road Race and Fitness Walk a success each year. Runners, walkers, patrons, sponsors, and volunteers. This year's event, our major fundraiser, is gonna be held September 19th at Memorial Field. We hope to see you all there. The candidates our board reviewed this year were exceptional, again. You know, this must be a great community you must be great parents and you all must be great students because it's amazing the things you're doing, especially during a pandemic. But we have to use certain criteria for the scholarship and the criteria we really lean to is community involvement. And this year's recipient is no different. We really believe that it's important to give back to the community that we work, that we live and where we learn in. And so let me tell you a little bit about this year's recipient. And I'm gonna read it here because it's a lot of stuff. Four year soccer player at Governor Livingston High School and a state champion, captain of PDA soccer, student advisory committee, trend executive board, interact member, freshman leadership team leader, smack and relay for life, executive leadership team committee and the list could go on and on. And while this candidate did all that, found time to work in the community. That takes a lot. So clearly someone who is focused, who's giving back and meets our criteria as a credit to the community. So without further eloquence, please join me in congratulating the 2021 Smith Chiropractic Foundation Community Leadership Scholar Kelly Donfield. Congratulations, Kelly. You did a great job and congratulations to all this evening's recipients. Have a good evening. Congratulations. I am David Dietz and is chair of the Suburban Chamber of Commerce, an organization of local businesses and nonprofits from Summit, New Providence and Berkeley Heights. I have the privilege to award you, Brian DeSouza, a graduating senior from Berkeley Heights Governor Livingston High School, our scholarship award for you to continue your education at college. I and my fellow members of the Chamber Scholarship Committee were extreme, extremely impressed with your achievements, not just academic, but extracurricular too. We particularly appreciate your commitment to our community. We sincerely hope that this scholarship will assist you to attend your chosen school next year and continue to advance your educational career. We look forward to cheering you on as you continue your schooling and hope that from time to time you will share your success with our chamber and indeed, when circumstances permit, meet our members. Congratulations again. Hi, my name is Bill Faxon. I'm the president of the Berkeley Heights Police Athletic League. It's my great honor to present the 2021 Thomas Ply Memorial Award. 
This award is given annually to a senior Governor Livingston male athlete who exemplifies terrific behavior on and off the court, field, or mat. This year's award winner is Victor Chait. Victor began with the Perkley Heights PAL in 2010, where he spent multiple years playing basketball, football, and baseball at both a rec and travel level. At Governor Livingston, Victor was a multi-sport varsity athlete winning multiple letters in both football and basketball. Outside of high school, Victor has given back to the PAL through his work as an umpire for our, our youth baseball leagues, as well as assistant coach with some of our football programs. So this award is extremely well-deserved. Your 2021 Thomas Ply Memorial Award winner, Victor Chi. Hi, I'm Gina Parada from the Watts Mountainside Community Foundation. Each year we award scholarships up to $20,000 to deserving Mountainside seniors. This year, as well as last year, we were in awe of how the students were able to adapt to, due to COVID. We applaud all of the class of 2021. Our first scholarship recipient, Mark Jones, has found a career that he has passion and dedication for. This was evident throughout his application. Mark aspires to become an automotive technician specializing in electric and alternate power cars. According to the recommendation given to us, he is well on his way of achieving this goal. Congratulations, Mark. Our second recipient is Victoria Jonak. Victoria is seeking a liberal arts education. Her application shows a young lady who has overcome challenges and is very independent and self-reliant. I am sure no matter what path she chooses, she will be successful. Congratulations, Victoria, and to the class of 2021. Good evening. The Berkeley Heights Education Association, your teachers, paraprofessionals, nurses, secretaries, interpreters, custodians, maintenance, and bus drivers are happy to present two scholarships this year. Our award winners are Kira Blake and Emily Kiernan. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Peyton Hopek, and I'm here to announce the winner of the John Hopek Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to one female athlete who participated in multiple PAL sports growing up. My father wanted two things with his players when coaching growing up through PAL sports. One was being a great teammate. The other was working as hard as you can, always giving 100%. The winner of this scholarship resembles both of those things. I want to congratulate Brianna Kagan as the winner of the 2021 John Hopek Memorial Scholarship. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Foster, president of the Governor Livingston Band Parents Organization. It's my pleasure to announce this year's scholarship winner. This scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors in the band who have applied for these awards and met the requirements. For the Daniel Kopcha Scholarship Award, this year's winner is Emma Sylvester. For the Frank and Margaret Shepard Award, this year's winner is, again, Emma Sylvester. Congratulations to Emma. Thank you, and you gotta believe. Hi, it's Mike Del Duca from the Rotary Club of Berkeley Heights. Uh, the Rotary Club annually presents four $1,000 scholarships to graduating seniors of Governor Livingston High School. The uh, Rotary Club has been in existence in Berkeley Heights since 1966 and uh, doing good deeds for the town and for the world. We're happy to announce the winners of this year's scholarships, Emily Haynes, Christopher Coscott, Victoria Mori, and Sean McMahon. If I butchered any of those names, I apologize. But congratulations and good luck on all of your future endeavors. Hi everyone, tonight I'll be presenting the Eric Hagen Good Soul Scholarship. My brother was a student here at GL who tragically died in his sophomore year. And although he wasn't always the best student, he truly had the kindest heart and was welcoming to everybody and anybody, no matter who they were. The person I'm presenting this award to is a truly unique individual who has their own style and path in life. And I we can, hope to continue to support them through this scholarship. Congratulations, Riley Fluharty. Good evening, my name is Debbie Knapp and I am the GL PTO president. On behalf of the PTO, we are proud to award 25 scholarships, each in the amount of $150, to our deserving seniors. These scholarship recipients were chosen by the Governor Livingston Scholarship Committee. These students have demonstrated a strong work ethic, 
They are involved beyond the classroom, particularly in the life of GL. They plan to attend college in the fall and they are outstanding citizens of their school and community. The recipients of this year's scholarships are Massimo Baglioni, Owen Burbrower, Sierra Blair, Naomi Brogdon, Kelsey DeStasso, Erin Dindile, Jack Gannam, Sarah Gillow, Kevin Hughes, Hannah Knorr, Jason Lalavi, Christina LaRocque, Sophia Lugo, Mia McGuire, Rebecca Mastropasqua, Kelly McCray, Jason Pien, Zara Poon, Gretchen Probst, Sophie Rittenhouse, Francesca Rocco, Matthew Ronga, Matthew Saya, Connor Splain, Giovanni Starico. Congratulations to these well-deserving students. Good evening, my name is Chrissy Keysweater and I have the honor of presenting the 2021 Mountainside PAL scholarship in the amount of $500. On behalf of our organization, I would like to congratulate all the recipients tonight, as well as the 2021 graduating class. For the award of our scholarship, the following criteria must be met. The student must be a Mountainside resident, a senior with a GPA of 3.0 or better, participate in extracurricular activities, and they must submit an essay on volunteerism and its importance to the community as well as how it has impacted you. The Mountainside PAL board loved reading all the applications and were impressed by the volunteerism demonstrated by this year's applicants. The candidate we chose for the 2021 Mountainside PAL scholarship is Deanna DeFranzo. Congratulations, Deanna. Hi everyone. My name is Tanya Seibert, and the scholarships I'm presenting tonight come on behalf of the Isadora J. Seibert Foundation. Our foundation was established in 2014 after Isadora Seibert, my older sister, was unexpectedly and suddenly diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer at the age of 25. Isadora was a science teacher at the time here at GL, and she loved working for the school district. She was so passionate about teaching and making a difference. Unfortunately, she did lose her life to a battle with cancer six months after her diagnosis. But before she passed, she told my family that she'd like us to set up this foundation in her honor. The goal of the Isadora J. Seibert Foundation is not just to fund cancer research, which is something that we do, but to also create scholarships for graduating high school seniors from GL who wish to pursue a career either in teaching or in science, two things that she was very passionate about. Um, each year, this decision is really difficult and it gets more and more difficult because the applications are just so outstanding. But what we really look for, aside from exemplary academic and extracurricular achievements, is passion, um, a desire to create a positive impact, and a desire to demonstrate kindness because that's something that Isadora just emanated and we hope that whoever we give these scholarships to will do the same in their pursuits and their passions. For this year, we will be giving out four scholarships, each in the amount of $1,500. So the first scholarship goes to a student who wishes to pursue a career in school psychology, which is something that really blends the best of both education and science, something I know Isadora herself would love. And I am pleased to offer this first scholarship to Nicholas Tarabokia. The next scholarship goes to a student who wishes to pursue a career in teaching with a primary focus on special education. He shows a passion for helping others through this field, and it's something that I think we all should really strive for. I can't wait to see the good that he does in his pursuit. I'm pleased to offer this second scholarship to Brian D'Souza. The third scholarship we will be awarding goes to a student who is hoping to pursue a career in science with a special interest in agricultural and environmental studies. 
I believe the student is very passionate about this field and this passion will hopefully lead him to achieving his dream of owning his own farm someday. I am very happy to offer this third scholarship to Thomas James Puya. And the final scholarship we will be awarding this evening goes to a student who is looking to pursue a career in nursing. The student really wants to put her passion for science and her desire to help others together, which I think is all Isadora herself would have asked for, especially in her final days when she was battling uh, cancer in the hospital and all the nurses were just so wonderful and helping. So I'm very happy to offer this last scholarship to Mia McGuire. On behalf of the Isadora J. Seibert Foundation, thank you to everyone who applied and congratulations to all of the scholarship recipients and graduates of the class of 2021. Good evening, I'm Christine Denoya. And I'm Lindsay Mirabella. We are the advisors to the class of 2021 and are awarding a $500 scholarship to a devoted member of the senior class. Throughout his four years here at Governor Livingston, this member stood out in his efforts to support his class. Whether it was being the first to volunteer enthusiastically supporting our fundraising efforts or leading his peers, this recipient demonstrated the virtues of leadership. It is our honor to present this scholarship to Matt Chin. Good evening, class of 2021, educator and friends. My name is Sharon Atkins and I am the president of the Governor Livingston Alumni Association. Since our inception in 2016, we are so proud of our partnership with Governor Livingston High School and current and graduating students from both Mountainside and Berkeley Heights communities. We are continuing to build our membership and would strongly encourage all of our 2021 graduates to join the association. The Governor Livingston Alumni Association has steadily grown our scholarship awards over the past several years, and this year we will be happy to extend $500 awards to six graduating seniors. The following recipients have met our academic standards, are planning on attending postgraduate programs, participated in a club or activity for four years of high school, and have shown a propensity to be a leader. With that said, the Governor Livingston Alumni Association is proud to name the following students as the recipient of our awards. Ryan Diskin, Emily Haynes, Mia McGuire, Caroline Mondelli, Sean McMahon, and Kylie Vreeland. Thanks and have a great night. Hello, my name is Karen Dillon and I'm the co-president of the Mountainside Education Foundation. Each year, our foundation presents a scholarship of $1,000 to a graduating senior who is also a resident of Mountainside. The recipient must have a current GPA of 3.0 or higher and plan on pursuing a higher education degree. This year's recipient participates in many school and extracurricular activities, including several national honor societies, track, tennis, dance, gymnastics, production manager for Hope, and is a youth leader at her church. She takes time to volunteer at the local chapter of the National Suicide Prevention Line on the weekends and helps people rediscover the reasons for their existence. At the time of her application, she had a weighted GPA of 4.159. On behalf of the Mountainside Education Foundation, I'm pleased to present this year's scholarship to Deanna DeFranzo. Congratulations. Hello and welcome to the class of 2021 and congratulations Highlanders. So my name is Anthony Hamiano. I'm the supervisor of buildings and grounds here in Berkeley Heights. Also a graduate of Governor Livingston from 1980. And uh, with me today are Mr. Johan Moran is the head custodian and Mr. Joe Fody is the night supervisor here. And we're here this evening to present the scholarship awards, two $1,000 scholarship awards to Governor Livingston seniors from the New Jersey School Buildings and Grounds Association, Central Chapter. So the first award is be presented by Johan. The first award is for Christopher Cossack. And the next award is for Jason Lalavi. All right, that concludes our little speech. Thank you, have a great year and best of luck. 
I'm Jessica Nardi, the principal of Thomas P. Hughes Elementary School. The Mary Kay McMillan Scholarship is awarded each year to a Governor Livingston senior who will be pursuing a degree in education and who exemplifies the character and devotion that Mrs. McMillan demonstrated each and every day of her career. We are pleased to announce the recipient of this year's scholarship, Susanna Albacher Green, who will receive $1,000. Congratulations, Susanna, and good luck. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nardi. I now have the distinct pleasure of reading several other of our outside scholarship winners this evening. First, the Jonathan Gross Memorial Scholarship is presented in memory of Jonathan Gross, a 1975 graduate of Governor Livingston High School. His family seeks to honor his memory by awarding this scholarship to a student who demonstrates those qualities exemplified by John while at Governor Livingston. High academic standards, concern for one's fellow man, and commitment to the well-being of the total school community. The Jonathan P. Gross Memorial Scholarship of $1,000 is awarded to a deserving student who was involved in extracurricular activities in and out of school and who demonstrates the quality of giving. The scholarship is being awarded to Olivia Ward. The League of Women Voters is pleased to announce the Citizenship Award and a check for $100 to Alyssa Perdon. Alyssa will also be honored by the League on June 10th in a virtual ceremony. The Thomas J. Rosamelia Award for excellence in mathematics this year goes to Desmond Lamb. I'm also pleased to announce that Desmond has been chosen for one of the 10 MyCentralJersey.com Academic All-Stars for 2021. On Sunday, June 13th, the Courier News and the Home News Tribune will salute the accomplishments of 10 Academic All-Stars with a feature story on the front page of both papers. In keeping with the mission of the United States Military Academy to produce leaders of character who will devote themselves to a lifetime of service to their nation and communities, the Dwight D. Eisenhower Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited exceptional performance in the areas of academics, athletics, community service, good citizenship, and leadership. This year's award goes to Tomas Burke. The Mountainside PTO awards a scholarship every year to a student chosen by members of the GL staff and administration. We are pleased to announce that Cody Brown will be this year's recipient. The Class of 73 scholarship of $500 is awarded this year to Ryan Nikolich. The Berkeley Heights Women's Club scholarship recipient is Olivia Buckholtz. The Andrea and Victor M. Richel Family Foundation Scholarship for $500 is awarded to a student attending Union County College in the fall. This year's recipient is Jonathan Zecca. The Kelly Lawstein Family Scholarship is awarded to a student who intends to major in a STEM field. This year, the scholarship is being awarded to a student who not only excelled in academics, was a National Merit Commended Scholar, member of the Technology Students Association competitions, member of the Trend, Interact, and Secretary of National Honor Society. We are pleased to announce that this year's Kelly Lawston Scholarship for $20,000 goes to Caitlin Darty. 2021 in-house awards and certificates. Sarah Anito, Award for Excellence in Photography. Grace Bailey, Award for Excellence in Career Planning and Digital Photography. Sophia Barca, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in Business. Kira Blake, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in Italian, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Joseph Bonetti, Award for Excellence in Accounting. Abby Bote, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary. Naomi Brogdon, PTO Award for Excellence in Family and Consumer Science. 
Princeton Award for Race Relations, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service on freshman leadership team. Olivia Buckholtz, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Sophia Burke, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Brianna Kagan, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service on freshman leadership team. Rebecca Candigarlo, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as secretary for senior class. Recognition for outstanding and distinguished service on freshman leadership team. Matthew Chin, 2021 Union County Scholar, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as President Student Council. Lily Collins, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Sophia Crescitello, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, PTO Award for Excellence in Science, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Ariana De Silva, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in Photography. Brian DeSousa, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Aaron Dindiel, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Ryan Diskin, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Kelsey DeSisto, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Treasurer Student Council. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Kelly Donfield, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Leah Dooley, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Recognition for Excellence in American Sign Language. Holly Dorsett, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Caitlin Dougherty, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Secretary, National Honor Society. Nicole Emma, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Sarah Fajardo, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Co-Editor-in-Chief Highlander. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. David Forrester, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Zachary Glenn, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar. Leah Gould, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Jack Grinelli, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Vice President Senior Class. Emily Grotzi, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Student Auxiliary. Emily Haynes, the President's Education for Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Vice President Student Council. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Amelia Hines, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, the Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact. Kevin Hughes, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Corresponding Secretary, Student Council. Shannon Hunt, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Sarah Hunter, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Blake Januzzi, 
the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as student auxiliary, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as student ambassador, Victoria Jonak, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service on freshman leadership team, Charlotte Kaltenbach, the President's Educational Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as student auxiliary. Kaylin Curick, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as student ambassador, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service for Interact. Phoebe Kim, award for excellence in business law. Hannah Knorr, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. Christopher Kozat, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. John Kubek, Award for Excellence in Environmental Science. Jason Lalavi, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Treasurer Senior Class. Desmond Lamb, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. 2021 Union County Scholar. PTO Award for Excellence in English and Social Studies. Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as President Senior Class. 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Soyo Dodd and Hari Hispanica, Primero de Honor. Now Mrs. Jacqueline Bartlett will continue the presentation. Christina LaRock, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Iris Liu, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Jason Liu, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Mia McGuire, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary. And Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Daniel Marinko the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Rebecca Mastropasqua, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Co-Editor-in-Chief Claymore. Ryan Matthews, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in Biology, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact. And Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Victoria Mowry, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. The Union County Secondary Schools Principal Exemplary Student Award. PTO Award for Excellence in Vocal Music, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact, Special Award for Dedication and Commitment to Trend, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary, and Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Sean McMahon, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Recording Secretary Student Council, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador. Kelly McRae, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 
Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Vice President Tutoring National Honor Society. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Christopher Mika. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Carolyn Mundelli the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Joseph Naldi, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Athena Nagayan, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Ryan Nikolich, recognition for outstanding and distinguished service as student auxiliary Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Ashley Parker, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Jason Pien, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Mackenzie Pierce, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in French, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as President National Honor Society, Award for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Managing Editor Highlander, Principal's Service Award, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend, Mackenzie has also received a $4,000 scholarship from Summit College Club and a $5,625 scholarship from the National Honor Society. Aiden Pine, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar. Zara Poon, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, PTO Award for Excellence in World Languages, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Vice President Service National Honor Society, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team, Gretchen Probst, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, the Award for Excellence in Economics, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Interact, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Julia Ramondi. Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Auxiliary. Sarah Real, Award for Excellence in Business Management. Francesca Rocco, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Award for Excellence in Entrepreneurship. Ariana Romero, the PTO Award for Excellence in Art. Matthew Ranga, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service for Trend. Matthew Saya, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Jessica Salamone, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. Claudia Schneider, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Alexander Seivel, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Hayden Sobel, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Corey Stark, PTO Award for Excellence in Musical Instrumental Music. Emma Sylvester, 
the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Nicholas Tarabokia, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service as Student Ambassador, Union County Schools School Boards Association Unsung Hero. Olivia Tesca, PTO Award for Excellence in Industrial Arts. Frederick Truncali, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. Sarah Ullman, Award for Excellence in Business Technology. Fiona Ure, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, Recognition for Excellence in Spanish. Joshua Vaidman, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 2021 National Merit Commended Scholar, PTO Award for Excellence in Mathematics, Award for Excellence in Physics. Olivia Ward, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, Recognition for Outstanding and Distinguished Service on Freshman Leadership Team. Richard Wetterer, the President's Education Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence, 2021 National Merit Commended Student, Award for Excellence in Chemistry. We will now announce the Junior Awards. The Ressler Medal for Excellence in Math is awarded to Nathan Lepotsky. The Bosch and Laum Science Award goes to Jacob Quisenbing. The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award in recognition of outstanding commitment to social justice goes to Gianna Susamara. The following are recipients of the Book Awards. Cornell Book Award, Helen Liu. Princeton Book Award, Tomas Burke. Johns Hopkins Book Award, Charles Santori. Brandeis Book Award, Alyssa Pradon. Bryn Mawr Book Award, Holiday Woodard. St. Michael's Book Award, Aiden English and Erin Hilongos. Tulane Book Award, Nathan Lepotsky. At this time, I would like to turn the program back over to Mr. Robert Nixon. Thank you. After you put all these great awards together on stage, it's hard not to be stunned by our amazing students. Academically, athletically, in the arts, on the stage, in the classrooms, and by volunteering time and energy throughout our community, you have given your parents and your school a great deal to be proud about. Keep up the great work. And finally, I would like to thank Ms. Deva for organizing this evening's program and to all the effort, energy, and attention to detail that made tonight possible. I thank you for joining us and hope you enjoyed this great evening. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm glad you stuck around till the very end here. I get the opportunity right now to announce for you the Project Graduation Raffle Ticket winners. First, with third prize, which is one reserved parking spot at graduation, the winner is Jackie Malave. Second prize, which is four reserved seats at graduation, Angela Ippolito. And first prize, which is four reserved seats and one reserved parking spot at graduation, happy to announce that the winner is Gerilyn Lalavi. Thanks everybody for taking part in the Project Graduation Raffle to support our students in the great work that our Project Graduation Committee does. I'd also like to thank, uh, give a big thanks right now to Mr. Joe Voorhees with our TV production studio for putting this whole project together for us this evening. Thanks a lot, congratulations to all of our winners and I look forward to seeing all of you at graduation.